Good afternoon YouTube, this is Central Oregon Survival Network coming at you again. Today I'm going to do a video on do-it-yourself trip wires and this one is going to be the light switch trip wire. So I'm going to jump right into it, I'm going to show you the tools that you need, the supplies that you need, and how to actually assemble this trip wire. Alright, here we okay, go. Okay, this is what I like to call a light switch trip wire. You might have seen it before somewhere. This is kind of my own variation, but this is what we're going to be assembling today. <clears throat> you might have seen it on my other video. And I'm going to show you everything that you need. Okay, first off, we're going to start with the tools that we need. Okay, again, I'm going with the cordless drill just because that's what I have. Of course, if you have a drill, a plug-in drill, that's going to work too. Um, I have a 964 bit, a 1 8 will work, and a 11 64th drill bit on the drill. You also need Phillips screwdriver, flat tip screwdriver, wire stripper, wire cutters, and you can have a different variations of this of course, and you can get pretty cheap models at uh, Harbor Freight or other places. And this is uh, what I use for wire, or uh, kind of wire crimpers for your connectors. Um, you might have a stripper wire cutter with this built in. I actually have just a different set, makes it a little bit easier. And a hot glue gun. Okay, that's all you need for the tools to assemble this. So now we're going to go into what you need for as far as supplies. Okay, I'm going to start with. Now this is an electrical switch or plug box. There's many different variations. As you can see on this one, it's a short version, or it's a, so that if you don't have a deep wall, uh, this is kind of just a short box. This is a little bit taller box. There's even taller boxes than this. Um, I just grabbed this. It was 89 cents, pretty cheap. A switch, just a regular old light switch, okay? your switch plate you know if you want you can get one I call it a butt end connector for your wires a little fork connector two of those for your wires you don't have to though you can just use electrical tape you don't have to worry about those connectors 9 volt with your 9 volt connector snaps on there. You can get that at Radio Shack, eBay, a lot of different places, electrical stores online. Sometimes you might need just a small chunk of wire. This one probably won't. A siren. Now you want a nice loud siren, not like a door siren. You want an actual siren. Now these uh, the PZOs, this is actually a siren. It's very loud, about 80 decibels, 90 decibels. Now this is what's called a corner bracket. Okay, you can get that at your hardware store. They usually come in about fours. So we can get a good shot of that. It's a corner bracket. Some fishing line. Now you can use a model filament, anything that you you prefer. This is actually spider wire and a rubber band, and usually a washer and I'll show you why later on in, towards the end of the video. Um, this one actually has a paper clip. You can use a paper clip if you so desire. Okay, let's jump right into it. Okay, first thing that you need to do, and there's a couple different variations of light switches out there, and you gotta, this is just your, your what you call probably single pole. Now, these might be on the other side there's a ground and there's also a positive and a common in the 110 world and what we're looking at is we want to determine the, the right way that this switch works so we can we set it in the box that we're going to get our pull going to one side okay so the way to do that the easiest way to do that and and you could do it by looking at it but you know the best way to do it is just to test it be sure before you start drilling and and putting everything together then you won't be disappointed in the end when it's going the wrong way and then you got to rewire it and it's not much fun okay so go ahead and take what you're going to do is you're going to take your 9 volt 
and your siren. Hook your negatives together, that's the black wires. You're going to take your red positives. The switch is off right now. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to take on those two, you're going to take and go ahead and touch both sides. Make sure you got a good connection. Okay, we got no siren. Okay, go ahead and flip your switch, touch them again. Okay, so now you know you have the siren. Okay, pretty simple. Now make sure you turn that off. Put that siren and your battery to the side. Okay, so now we know that we're going to set this inside our box this direction, put our siren on this side, and we're going to put our brace on this side, but basically we call it kind of a string guide, I guess you can what you could say. So next step is you're going to take your switch face, you're just going to go ahead and put it on there. Now I've pre-drilled a couple holes in this, and I'm going to tell you why here in a minute. Okay, but put this on here, and this is how you're going to pre-drill one of your holes. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to remove You've got two screws on each side, one here, one here. Go ahead and remove this one, which this will be in the off position, so you're going to remove this side. Put your switch cover on, just like this. You're going to flip it over, and right in here, you're going to drill a hole. I've already drilled, drilled through already. Because, you know, kind of moving this when you're trying to do a video is not the easiest thing in the world. So you're going to take your drill. You're going to drill a hole right in there with your 964 nine bit or eight in, one and eighth inch bit. Drill a hole. Okay. And what you can do if you want, which makes it kind of easier, is you can take so it holds it all together. Put your switch plate screws in. Screw those down so it holds that plate flush while you drill that hole right here, okay? So once that hole's drilled, take your screws out. You can go ahead and take your switch plate out. I kind of like visualizing. So right now, this is in the off position. So this is where this bracket is gonna go, okay? Now, on this side is where your siren's gonna go. So you have to determine, now depending on the switch, this switch is going to be on this side. Now there's also switches that has this, this type on this side. So what that means is when you put your siren on, it's going to dictate if it goes on this way or if it goes on this way. Now what that means is are you going to drill the hole here, which matches where your hookup is, or are you going to drill it on this side if you have the hookups on this side? Okay, so since these are what I'm going to call on the right hand side of my switch box, I'm going to drill this hole on the right hand side for my wires of the siren to go down through to connect to the actual switch. Okay, so what it's going to look like is I'm going to run these through. switch in here. Okay. So, let me see if I can turn that so you can see it. So basically, I run down to that switch. Down to I'm sorry, through the switch plate down to the switch, okay? Just like that. That's why we drill the holes in the plate. Now, when you drill this, be careful cuz this is like a really hard plastic and if you put too much pressure, you'll shatter this plate, you'll actually break right through it. Okay, so when you're drilling it, take your time, go slow, drill, drill, get through it, and then it should hold together. You can actually tell, if you can see that, how it kind of breaks apart. It's a really, really hard plastic, you know, cheap, whatnot, but it'll work, okay? Okay, next step is what we're gonna do because we're actually gonna, like, just like I said, we're gonna put that siren on the plate. Okay, so put your wires down through. Now this is where your hot glue gun comes in. This is just hot glued on, which actually works really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the hot glue. 
the bottom of the siren and stick it to the plate. And make sure that you don't move it too far over to get your shit switched through that hole. Okay? I like hot glue, but boy, it does have some strings attached. You know what I mean? No pun intended. And it's really hot, so watch your fingers. Okay, so basically, I just hot glued that into position. Done deal. Nice and easy, perfect, okay? Done. All right, now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take our box, and this switch, I'm gonna mount it in here just like this. Okay, so my switch goes this way. Now, this screw, is going to be tightened into your box and this screw will actually hold your plate down. You'll see how that works in here in just a second. Okay, now what you want to do also is before you tighten this down into your box, you're going to want to wire it real quick. It makes it easier to do that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and kind of do a freeze frame because it's going to take a second. I'm actually going to put all the connectors on here and show you, but I'm not going to make you watch it because it takes a second or you can actually take and not use the butt connectors and just use electrical tape. Twist your wires like we did earlier, use your electrical tape and put it together. But you don't have to do that in this situation, okay? I've got butt connectors, if you've got those too, you can use those. I just use those because I have them available. Now as you okay. can see, what I've done is I've actually taken the black to black off of your battery to your siren attach it together, take your red leads from your siren and from your battery and attach it and it doesn't make a difference which side because once the switch is thrown, makes the contact, puts power to your siren, bam, good to go. Okay, so I'm going to take and switch this battery out real quick to a new one, I'll probably leave it together. Okay, so what you're going to do now you're going to take, you're going to drop your battery in, make sure you got this going the right direction again, okay? So I always have it going to my right side, as you're watching, it's probably your left, okay? So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to drop it in and I'm going to tighten this one down. This is where either you can use your, your Phillips, or in this case, I'm going to use my, I actually have a drill, cordless, make it go a little faster for the video. Okay, you want to make sure that you keep it aligned. And we'll do this by hand, make it sensitive. Okay, all right, so that's mounted, batteries in it. You're gonna take your switch cover top, make sure your wires are not gonna get crimped up or messed up, put them in there nicely, okay, bang, now what you're going to do is you're going to take that bracket we talked about, what I call it a string guide, this is actually a corner brace for a shelf or, or whatnot, and you're going to place it just like this, and you're going to take the other long screw that we took out earlier, and we're going to place it right in here, and we're going to make sure, whoops, in our drilled hole, and if you want, you can put the, uh, the other switch, there's another screw right here you can put in, I didn't on the old one, you can, it's not a big deal, kind of holds everything together though, so it's kind of nice, okay, so, just like that, take your drill or your hand Phillips run this down be careful tightening this you can break once again these switch covers are really I wouldn't say cheap just a hard plastic they break really easy tighten that down nice and snug bang okay so right there is what I call my light switch trip wire Okay, nice and easy. Okay, what I forgot to mention, 
I'm going to tell you right now is I did it prior to, so I didn't remember it. But as you can see, through that light switch, there's a hole, right? I drill, I, I pre-drilled that before the video. It's not a pain. I just wanted to do it and get it out of the way. So basically, you take your drill real carefully, and you're going to drill a hole into that. Now, word of advice on some of these cheaper light switches, uh, they're not solid. So go in one side, go in the other side, and it'll actually create a nice little hole. Because sometimes if you try to go all the way through, it'll throw your hole off, you'll bust the switch, and it'll just make you mad. Okay? So when you're going into it, if your drill bit stops and gets caught up, it's because the inside is hollow, and they actually have just a piece of plastic in there that's catching your drill bit. Stop, go to the other side, start drilling, and then just kind of clean the hole out, and then you'll end up with a nice hole to put your string through. Okay? So, that's your light switch trip wire. Very, very loud. Works effectively. Now, I'm going to go over on this one instead of tying the string off to that one, doing it all over again. Now, the, the reason for the rubber band, and this string can actually be a little looser, reason for the rubber band is to keep your trip wire tight. Okay, this, this wire that goes to your switch that's also off of your washer can be a little bit looser than this one is right here. And the reason being is that so the, the rubber band keeps this taut, your actual trip wire tight, so then when it trips, okay, it's nice and easy. And that's you, you don't have to use the rubber band. I put it in there so it just keeps my trip wire nice and tight. Because sometimes when you tie it to your switch and you try to tie off into something else and you get it nice and tight, it keeps flipping that switch, keeps flipping that switch, and it kind of really irritates you, kind of pisses you off if you ever messed around with any type of trip wires. So, and you can get black ones if you want to get all tactical with these rubber bands and stuff. You know, of course, I painted this to make it look, you know, of course, sexy. You know, you got to have it make it look cool, okay? But anyway, so that is the light switch trip wire, and you can build that for about 11 bucks. If you have any questions, any comments, if I went too fast, comment me. I do have a blueprint on a PowerPoint type format. So if you want, just go to my channel, email me, and I can send you a copy of that. Okay? All right, thank you guys, and uh, I, I really appreciate all your support and your subscriptions please keep them coming thank you very much and i will see you on the flip side this is central oregon survival network have a great night